For the third time this week, Indy teenagers lead IMPD on a dangerous chase ending in a crash. Thanks for joining us. I'm Bob Donaldson. And I'm Chelsea Helms. In all three incidents, the teens were armed with guns. The latest happening just this morning, and police found the teens with an AR-15. This trend has police and youth anti-violence activists on alert. CBS 4's Jenny Dreisler has more on what's behind an alarming increase in crime. Shocking to you, shocking to you, shocking to you, not shocking to me. Youth anti-violence activist Kareem Hines says juvenile gun crimes have been happening so frequently it's almost become the norm. These kids are rolling around Indianapolis with big guns. Three different incidents in less than a week. Eight juveniles arrested, all armed. Early Sunday morning, a 14 and 15 year old boy carjacked a man at gunpoint at a strip mall near 30th and Kessler. Officers chase them until the teens crash near the state fairgrounds. There should never be a reason that a child should have access to a gun. As gun owners, we need to be responsible with them. Then overnight Wednesday, three teens carjacked a man at gunpoint near 21st in college. The teens, two 17-year-olds and an 18-year-old, were eventually arrested after they stole a car and crashed it into a tree. Then the latest incident happened overnight Thursday on North Emerson Avenue. A 16, 15, and 13-year-old were arrested after stealing a car, leading police on a chase, and then crashing. Investigators found an AR-15 rifle and multiple cell phones in their possession. These teenagers shouldn't have been outside, out and about, left to their own devices to begin with. And the fact that a firearm was located on scene and allegedly tied to this investigation is even more concerning. As for what's behind the recent rise in crime, both police and Hines say it's a multifaceted problem, one where the solution involves everyone stepping up to put a stop to this troubling trend. Parents definitely, definitely pick your heads up. Get, get your eyes off them phones. Care about where your kids are, but also the community. If you see a kid out at a certain time at night, it ain't snitching, it's just called care. In Indianapolis, Jenny Dreisler, CBS4 News.